You have a question? You have a question? You got a question on the universe? But Dr. Tyson? Yeah, hi. Hi, what's your name? Weston. Pleased to meet you. And you? Scotia. Pleased to meet you. Do you have a question on the universe? What is it? How fast does a meteorite move in space? Meteorites? Actually, we call them meteors as they move through the atmosphere. And if they survive and you find it on the ground, then we call it a meteorite. Yeah, so we have two different words. So, why do they move so fast? I can show you how. This is the sun, and this is Earth. Earth, as you know, orbits the sun, and it goes really fast as it goes around. Well, it turns out there are these meteors that are just in space, and we slam into them. So not only do we slam into them, they fall towards us because of Earth's gravity. And those two effects combined give them very high speeds, sometimes as high as 10 or 15 miles per second. Right. And so at those speeds, as they plunge into our atmosphere, there's heat that builds up, and they get so hot that they can vaporize into dust. And try this, rub your hands together real fast. They're getting hot? Sometimes when I do that, my hands start to get, start little black things. Oh, that's dirt on your hands. You gotta go <laughs> clean your hands first. But if you do this, you do this to get warm. Well, when you get meteors coming through the atmosphere, there's friction, just like this kind of friction, you get friction through the atmosphere that heats up the meteor. And so the atmosphere protects us from most of those meteors. And there they are going anywhere from seven up to 15 miles per second. So they go so fast and they get so hot they burn? They burn up completely. But if they're really big, they don't burn up completely. They survive their trip all the way down to Earth's surface. And then they can make a crater. You might have seen pictures of craters here on Earth. There aren't many of them because most don't make it and others that like erosion and weather and volcanic activity gets rid of them. Can you think of a place where there's nothing but craters and the craters don't go away? The moon. The moon. It looks like there's a lot of holes in it. A lot of holes. Because it looks like a piece of cheese. Piece of cheese. I don't think it tastes like cheese. It's, like a, it's made of moon dust and moon rocks. I don't want to live on the moon because there's no atmosphere to protect me from the meteors as they come. I have to duck every time one comes. And they travel so fast, I'm not fast enough to duck. So we're glad we live on Earth under this blanket of atmosphere that protects us from the meteors.